Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 um, uh, series. Yesterday when we were dealing with the spam thing, um, we took a look um, into the spam filter and the policy and we clicked on the outbound spam. It took us to this page. I can show you again. So, or I cannot show you from the beginning. Once you click on exchange, it takes you to the exchange admin center. And if you click on protection, and spam filter so we did see all the um, settings in the policy but the outboards uh, with the outboards outbound spam it took us to a new page and if you see it says protection.office.com so definitely Microsoft is changing things again and giving them like uh, their own homes and it's a good thing it means they are working vigorously on the thing so we're gonna today it's a big one we're gonna again um, quickly skim through everything because uh, I was just expecting the outbound and it's like it looks like is the all the NT spam settings are here there's one option and if you see there's permission and permission is there as well so if we click on permission uh, there's a policy rules all that and under permission I think we have everything uh, exactly the same so it's like uh, hmm interesting okay so I think it's the uh, mail flow and there is mail flow as well right there so I think that it's the new home for all the things under uh, like they are regrouping them and giving them their own homes uh, so let's go back to where is the spam now <laughs> okay I missed it somewhere here supervision threat management should be under mm. I want to click again over there the protection and anti-spam page and I'm gonna make a note mental note with tab home mail filtering so it should be under this is the one mail flow data privacy so home permissions alerts where exactly is this thing Oh, there's something here on this side as well. And I spam. <clears throat> this is not like policies. This is record management. privacy e-discovery reports so I have to actually what alerts permission classification That is interesting. I'm not seeing it anywhere. All right, so let's go back. So, I really wanted to see where exactly is this on the here but uh, seems like I can't so like it's easier you can go to this uh, protection.office.com and then go to mail filtering I cannot find it in here maybe it's not uh, linked yet so let's go with it 
first thing you have a they're saying that you can do various anti-spam policies uh, you can configure them the re the real reason that I wanted to go through this uh, interface is because I saw the phishing and the mall uh, the other thing uh, over here so I did not saw, see the phishing on the um, on this page on this policy so I really wanted to uh, address that because phishing is very common and it's growing uh, so I saw it right there phishing the other reason is that this is the new interface so I wanted to make a video of this and get myself as well familiar with this one uh, it's always a good idea because uh, in interviews or in uh, like uh, when they test you they just tell you to go and that's why I was looking for that link so I know where exactly it is I don't want to say hey, I don't remember you know I'm go I don't want to click one by one in front of them while I can help it and click one by one them over here while I'm learning so there is like uh, let's go back so this is the refresh button it will simply refresh the page like if I turn it on I <laughs> okay it's not turning on all right so there is a either you we can click create a policy we can name it description spam and bulk actions so what are the actions available I am not going through these action for two reason one we did it yesterday uh, in the other one but because I saw them when I added the policy here so you see so we're gonna pick one and we're gonna go through all of them uh, in a minute let's go so this is a creator policy of a custom policy this is the default policy this is the connection filter outbound spam policy this is the one that I was looking over there and I wanted to do here spoof like I said, told you spoofing is uh, when you want somebody send you an email pretending to pretending to be somebody else so that uh, I talked everything about uh, all these uh, things in that uh, in in my video which is this one right here 0013 and it looks like they caught up and they added everything the thing they were missing spoofing and the core um, fishing so uh, I can this is the connection filter policy IP allow list connection uh, remember if like what uh, the IP what IPs are allowed and what are not you can add them added them and what was not one spam filter policy so let's go quickly with this one added policy so this is the default policy if you need to customize uh, like make your own then you can create from here so everything is same spam and high confidence spam we talked about it as spam is that is likely high confidence where they are really sure that it is phishing email what to do with them quarantine them so the options are uh, if you see junk for add to junk add x header we talked about it yesterday this this everything so again they giving you all these option in the bottom just like we saw yesterday so zero hour auto purge oh zap policy so auto purge just like whatever you mention it will be done all right so, um, like uh, when you sign up with Gmail Outlook Yahoo they have a 30 day policy but in this they the default is 15 you can make it 30 so everything is same phishing phishing is when they are trying to get some information out of you like send you a link or send you pretend to be for example your bank or your financial institute a credit card or <coughs> they even send out emails from your service provider like uh, spectrum AT&T Verizon something like that so that is basically just to get your data your username password login information whatever they can um, high confidence phishing email that this one is like it could be or maybe not this one they are really confident that this sender is one of them so what to do with those emails bulk email 
bulk we talked about it like uh, the digest email so everything is same zap spam zap fish zap on on and let's click on more oh okay that's this is very interesting so zap policy is once that email has been delivered like the filter detects them and you know does all these what they are told but even if somebody oh sorry some any email that falls through the cracks and gets delivered into your inbox even then they can scan it and auto purge take it out of there in your box so let's go to the allow list I'm gonna pause the video quickly here sorry about that it's just my uh, throat all right so the law list a lot exactly like uh, yesterday we talked about that block list exactly like so you can block a sender you can add only his or her email address or you can block a whole domain international spam exactly like if you can I show you exactly you can uh, this time you can search a country likes let's say search for whatever has i in in the country name finnish hindi indonesian latin 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 ukrainian chinese chinese taiwan so we exactly oh that was the language and this was the country all right so spam properties increase scam spam score like we saw and if you remember numeric ip address in the url link to remote site and all that mark has spam this if empty message right sensitive word list so this okay so this is tell they have the list of sensitive words so you cannot add them test mode option same when you're testing it they send a text message to either default header and deliver the mail or send a um, BCC like a blind carbon copy to the email address that you provide here so everything is same let's go to what we came here for look for the outbound um, spam and as a bonus we're gonna check the spoof what's this uh, that's new so let's see summary is send copies of suspicious messages to specific people that is if you want to ha like it's a large organization and you have some admins that their job is to uh, keep an eye what's going in and out and inter restrict sending to internal recipients per hour so this is like uh, I was like how many emails you can send per hour so let's go to the this is the description you can type it in notification send a copy to a specific people you can click it and then you can add those peoples you can add their email addresses <coughs> again the next one is if a sender is blocked due to sending outbound spam then you can get notification as well like if sender has been blocked so recipient limit is how like external hourly limits how many uh, you have a user and he's sending too many emails you can restrict how many emails he can send per hour before his privilege will be revoked and basically whatever he send will not go through until the clock goes zero internal like how many emails he can send internally uh, daily limit how many emails a user can send per day and what to ex these are the ex actions like what to do when they are exceeding this limit what you set Rest the, restrict the user from sending mail till the following day or restrict the user from sending mail no action alert only so this is it they get to send the emails the next day they this one is the little bit restrict they get stopped and somebody has to actually uh, go and give them the privilege back this one is just alert 
All right, so this was the outbound spam. And let's see what's in the spoof. Review senders that are spoofing your domain, that they are sending emails on uh, that look like from you, and but they are not from you. Show me senders I already reviewed. Review new senders. So this is like your domain, who is the spoof user, and what they are doing. External domains. It will show up over here. Uh, like are they allowed or not? Decision set by authentication rule, number of uh, user complaints, all that. So basically, mm, in uh, like um, you, uh, you may not have an idea like how somebody can do it. Uh, we have a, our email service uh, from Spectrum or Charter. So our user they get ton of uh, spam or phishing emails like I talked in the last video that uh, an unfortunate lady got. So what we do, we have two options. Like if they say, oh, okay, this is from uh, Spectrum, it has, like the really innocent one will say, oh, okay, it had all the pictures. Well, anybody can copy those pictures. Uh, but still, we don't, you know, we don't want them to investigate, we want to investigate. So there's a button that it's phishing, you can forward it to, um, like in, in internally we have a phishing button we click on it and it goes to the admins like internally but for the general public uh, we want them to forward that email as an attachment uh, to our uh, a special email that is for phishing emails that's I think it's phishing.spectrum.com or phishing at charter.com so so you get the idea so internally when we click on it it they will start appearing here and an admin can review okay is that really email from us somebody's trying to uh, it's a, actually it's a security risk uh, that somebody is trying to get that info somebody's login info so they can actually log into the system and do some harm so spoofing or phishing it's it's a growing trend and it's all like uh, social hacking falls into so connection filter is same that the IP thing that we saw so this is the new interface for the protection and Microsoft uh, is going to put everything protection related on this page they have a new home um, I'm gonna wrap this video here it was really nothing just a new interface with everything the old same um, Mm, old same like rewrapping re the old thing into a new interface all right so if this video has helped you please like rate comment and subscribe share as well thank you and you have a good night